One of the things that happens with studying human behavior is that we often believe that all human behavior is very careful and deliberate. Economics tells us that humans make decisions by carefully thinking through decisions that we're not like animals, that we use our brain rather than other parts of the body. But it turns out that we have a lot in common with other animals. Some of our behaviors are much more reflexive and much more subconscious, where we see a certain cue in the environment and automatically our desires, our behaviors, our psychology changes. What we see in other animals is that when females are scarce, males become more competitive. They compete more for access to mates. And what we can ask is, well, how do humans compete for access to mates? And what you find across cultures is that men often do it through money, through status, and through products. So what we did in this study is we had men look at photographs and some of the photos had more women than men and the other photos had more men than women. And after looking at the photographs, we asked men to make simple decisions about money. We said, hey, do you want $20 right now, actual 20 bucks in your pockets, or $30 in a month from now? And what we found is that although men, early, men would generally take the $30 in a month from now, it's a pretty good return rate. When women were scarce in the photos, when there were more men than women, they took the $20 now. They became impatient when it came to money. What we wanted to do in another study is look at whether sex ratio might actually change men's desire to save money, how much money they save, and their willingness to go into debt to get money to buy stuff right now. And what we find is that for men, when women were scarce, when they read an article about women being uh, few rather than many. They were much less willing to save money. In fact, their savings rate decreased by 42%, and they were much more willing to borrow money, increasing their borrowing by almost 80%, and this is hundreds of dollars every year. And what's interesting about all these studies is that in none of them were the people aware that sex ratio was having any effect on their behavior. They just felt like they wanted to save less money or felt like they wanted to borrow more money. So one of the implications for marketers is in advertising, where you can present advertisements with one person, with multiple people. And who those people are and what's the ratio of those people in the picture can have a drastic consequence. So this research suggests that if you have one woman in the context of multiple men, that men will respond to those ads by wanting to spend more money now and by being more interested in engaging in things like conspicuous consumption. People have long suspected that sex ratio might have some kind of effects on human behavior, maybe in parenting behavior and family behavior. What almost nobody suspected is how pervasive sex ratio is on all kinds of behavior. Here, we're just scratching the tip of the iceberg when it comes to economic behavior to financial behavior. But sex ratio is likely to have impact on all kinds of behaviors uh, across human societies.